Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out Do Not Touch by Misamo. I'm incredibly excited. I've seen the teasers. I even saw a couple of the screenshots from this music video because Twitter can't really escape it and it just popped. And uh, I'm running to react to this. The music video dropped just a couple of hours ago, not even two hours ago. And I don't want to get spoiled on most of the visuals. So I'm trying to avoid Twitter. And that is why I'm trying to get to this music video as soon as humanly possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. God help us all. I, I love that the song is Do Not Touch. And there are already like these majestic statues that you cannot touch. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh my God. Hola. I heard that touch. Oh my. Oh. They're special. Nice nod. Oh my. Please stay with that hairstyle forever. Oh, that is so cool. She's a That's a painting. What the fuck? Wait, what was that? Uh, one of the 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 comeback, not the last comeback, the one before that with Red Velvet, where they had almost like the whole music video was like uh, a concept of like a painting. Uh, it even had like these visual effects and, and and stuff. It was very very interesting. That's what Mina's scene here reminds me of, and I think that Sulgi were all black. She looked like a villain or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Very reminiscent of that, actually. Um, holy shit. Uh, let, let's take it back. Um, That's when I touch you, you touch me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In all of your dreams. <laughs> oh my god.
we, we need to take it back for like uh, very minor scientific purposes. This chorus is so fucking addicting. And they're back to being basically like statues, like works of art. Like, and now they are a literal masterpiece. Do not touch. Holy shit. That was, and there's like, it's, it says me, me some uh, and to commemorate the release of, um, okay. Okay. I see. Okay. So, um, this music video, if I had to describe it in one word on first try, I would say it's expensive. Second try, I would probably say it's elegant. The lyrics at first, I had like a, a the, the 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 darker part of my mind always goes towards like do not touch as far as like idols' lives and all that kind of stuff. As far as like realizing that idols are not dolls and you can't just you know say and do whatever you want to them and they have their own lives that you cannot touch so that's where my mind immediately goes when i first like look at the music video some of the some of the lyrics but then obviously things be become a little bit more you know obvious in terms of like the concept itself uh looking up a thread on uh on twitter actually it references all of the artworks here and these are just like observations by the actual person who talks about it it's not like all oh, facts i absolutely love the song uh i i love the concept it is something that fits so incredibly well with all of these three ladies as they emphasize like beauty grace and elegance and yet power at the same time uh until the time is right i'm sorry but you can watch me but you cannot touch me that was really really that was so fucking beautiful like looking at some of the lyrics like especially like the chorus you can watch me you can't touch me and all that kind of stuff like it could have so easily you can so easily take this the extra step and make it too suggestive but yet the girls did such a phenomenal job of making it so incredibly tasteful like i'm still getting a heart attack here i'm, I'm still fighting it and i'm i still feel like my heart rate is very very high right now but at the same time they displayed themselves with all of the sensuality that they display there's still like that moment of uh reserve and even the visual with the black and white uh the high key shots which were absolutely some of my favorite shots from this music video actually especially with the choreography and the hats and all that kind of stuff it was really really beautiful but even as they were about to they got really really close but they didn't touch much like the title of the song it was just so insanely uh fitting like the everything in this music video is just hi uh every fuck everything in this music video is just so incredibly mesmerizing like the outfits are just insanely beautiful momo basically looking like this beautiful pearl which i first like i thought especially with sana's visual there i and and mina i thought that they were like representing some kind of a mermaid or, or, or something like that uh but like the most expensive like things in life like that pearl which is supposed to be incredibly expensive and all like really representing elegance luxury the best of the best but yet everything that is kind of like worth fighting because all of these works of art uh took so much like blood sweat and tears and whatnot like the 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 actual work of art uh, I, I feel like that's another really cool element to include here, in my opinion. And even like the shots of uh, the girls basically kind of like completing each other in a way, uh, as we have one profile shot, one full uh, front shot of the face, and then the shot like, holy fucking shit. Um, and it, if we feel the same, it's great. Let's wait. Yeah, this shot is so 
insanely beautiful too and like the, there's almost like the sunset happening it's so godlike they're they're literally almost like in in what looks like a bit of a cathedral kind of setting um like they they are as holy as elegant as luxurious as, as pure and fucking perfect as, as they as as they come that's that's an incredible uh thing that they kind of like represented it actually this shot right here with uh, with Sana actually beautifully represents what I was thinking in the very beginning in terms of everybody wanting to touch. Everybody can watch, but nobody can actually touch, but it doesn't stop the people from actually touching, which is why it's red. It it, it actually kind of like in a way makes her kind of like look like a devil in a way with the red light because all of the senses of all of these people, people go crazy for them, for these works of art and wanting to do something to them uh whether it's with two idols like not accepting boundaries and all that kind of stuff i feel like that's also an interesting little uh thing to consider uh even though like it, this music video could easily be very like romantic in, in in the sense that the one who's meant to be will be the one uh and uh you know until then until it's right you know you, you can look but you can't touch and all that kind of stuff um I, at the same time i felt like there was a really cool element of something a little bit extra and uh like even like the shot with the hats and everything that is covering them from the hats going in it's like a love a layer of protection in a way to prevent people from actually touching uh them and like accessing these works of art and and everything i thought it was really really cool and even like uh mina's shot with all of these holes in her hats to me kind of like could represent damage that created something beautiful like uh overcoming struggles and all that kind of stuff which you know uh for mina specifically it actually does fit quite quite a bit too um and again sana going from looking so fucking majestic in this shot and then the next shot it's the same shot, but it's covered by red lights and all of the people that almost look like zombies that just want to grab you. I feel like there's such a cool um, layer of something extra that can touch on, no pun intended, that can touch on uh, idols' lives and not having, some people not having like these boundaries that they should have. The more somebody tells you not to do something, the more you actually want to do it. It's, it's like that. What, what was it Barney Stinson in that museum and everything that says do not touch and it just makes him want to touch everything and he's like challenge accepted and I'm, I'm, I'm going to touch everything uh, without the guards realizing it and all that kind of stuff, which I, I don't know, that's kind of random, but um, there is a little bit of something to the fact that the more somebody denies you of something, the more you want it, which is their problem, of course, but it, I feel like they capture even that. Maybe I'm taking things a little bit too far as I always do, but I, I in this case, I, I have to kind of like uh, compensate for the fact that I was crushing so insanely hard and these visuals are just so fucking incredible and these girls are just fucking gorgeous. The vocals were just, I love... <laughs> I love the sassiness in the watch me, but don't touch me. And then when Momo, I believe, kind of like repeats that in almost like a whispering kind of kind of voice, like she says that in a way that makes you want to do the thing that she doesn't want you to do. So like this, like this back and forth that is happening in your mind, like it creates like this illusion that despite like the fact that she's saying one thing, it sounds like she's saying something else. It actually kind of like reminds me even of something like a uh, perfect world by twice where the girls, there was like this literal visual where the sound gets muted and it's like all of the men that are watching them, the vocals get muted, almost like drowned because the men don't want to listen. They, they don't listen to what the girls are saying. The men just see the girls perform and they completely ignore the substance of what they're saying. So they want them even more despite almost like being rejected head on straight in your face they just mute and drown that sound that's what it kind of like reminds me of someone the whispering and all that kind of stuff because like the shit is seductive as hell 
Uh, so uh, again, maybe I'm taking this a little bit too far, but in this case, I, I really feel like I, I, I need to make up for the fact that I, I was pretty speechless throughout this entire reaction. So I might as well uh, talk out of my ass right now. This was amazing. If I made any sense, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this reaction, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, check out the Patreon if you want to see some exclusive reactions, which also include a ton of twice content with 16, time to twice, seize the light, time to twice. We are currently at season number, I want to say 15 or 16, something like that. We just finished spring picnic and we'll be going into the new season this sunday so if you're interested in that there's also i just reacted to their first uh appearance on knowing bro so if you're interested in any of that and more check out the patreon there's a list of all of the available reaction that you can check out and if you see something on that list that you find intriguing consider subscribing and i'll catch you all in the next one thank you so much for watching guys see ya